right, so today we are going to bring this to Davey. Dan hit a little bit on this when they talked about LSs and what you have to swap when you do an LS swap. So we got a new tank in for a 69 Chevelle that we are doing an LS swap on, and we're going to take it to Davey, and we're going to explain some of it to you. I got presents. Yes. Cool. So this is my tank for the LS swap? Yes, this is the new tank that will be going in the commit. All right, Chevelle. cool. Well, this is the old tank. I've gotten it out. Uh, it's a little old and cruddy, but it doesn't uh, provide enough fuel for the LS. I mean, technically, you could you could do an LS swap without changing all this, but I I really like putting new tanks in it with new systems and all that stuff. So, plus they're noisy. You can put a, a remote mount, uh, you know, fuel pump on it, and it. <laughs> Look at here. <laughs> We've been had by the googly eye monster. So right. the alternative, if you wanted to keep your original tank rather than doing a full tank swap, would just be an outside fuel pump. Yeah, just a you know uh, like a frame mount, but they're noisy and nobody wants to listen to those things. What's the difference in pressure that you need for like the original motor that came out versus putting an LS3 in it? Well, with the big block that was in it, the carburetor that's on it, you could. You know, seven to ten psi is all you need to run that carburetor. With this, you need 55 to 60 pounds. So, you really got to upgrade the pressures to for the LS. You know, so that's what we do. <laughs> so, somebody left me a note. <laughs> Wait, show us what you see better. More, more googly eyes. <laughs> so, this is a kit that we get um, from a company that we use quite often that I I enjoy because they. Uh, it's a it's a one-stop shop. They give us everything that we need to set this fuel tank up for an LS um, pump sending unit, um, and then also you know it's another part number. But we also get the fuel line kit with all the AN fittings and everything that we need to uh, install the LS fuel system. So yeah, let's open it up. I love opening stuff. It's like Christmas. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, way too much fun with googly eyes. Yeah, there's a lot of googly, googly eyes googly everywhere. Eyes. I feel I've been set up. I, I'm going to say that Tanks doesn't do this on all their tanks. So. What are you talking about? <laughs> this looks completely right. Yeah. So, we got our nice coated fuel tank here. Let's set it on the ground and pull it out. So questions from the audience. If they, yeah. just, if they don't do a tank, where does the extra fuel sending unit go? Uh, typically, a lot of people mount them on the frames, uh, somewhere near the fuel tank. Uh, when you mount it to the frame, they can be quite noisy because you can hear it throughout the whole car. Um, I just, I'm just not a fan of that because, you know, one of the things, number two on Dan's list is the, enjoy, the enjoyment out of the ride you get. And nobody wants to drive down the road and hear the whole time, so. We, uh, we've set this up, it's almost like a factory setup, the pump sending unit and all that stuff, and they send us everything that we need for it. Just so. for clarification, it would be the fuel pump, not the fuel sending unit. Yeah, we would we'd put a fuel pump, would be a remote fuel pump that we put on it, but because the original tank has the sending unit in it, which is, you know, it just tells you how much gas is in it. So with this kit, you get everything you need to set up. Um, you get your sending unit here. New straps, fuel pump. Um, this is, I believe, a 255 gallon an hour pump setup, um, which is plenty for what we use it for. What um, uh, I don't know, something super low. I mean, the, the, the pressures, you got seven to 10 PSI on a carbureted setup, 55 to 60 on an LS, so um, I'm not sure what a mechanical pump puts out per hour, but they list this as a 255 gallon per hour setup. Here's your new fuel pump setup. And it even comes part. with the hose clamps. Yep, it comes with everything you need to set it up. It also comes with the instructions on how to set it up in the tank, all your measurements, you know, for the depth and you make sure you get the correct setup in it. But yeah, I mean, that's, 
that's pretty much it. You know, we just get a, we get a new setup for them. Any of the LS cars, um, I do get this setup just because it's very user friendly. They're quiet. I mean, you, when you start, it sounds like a new car. You get that initial hum at the beginning, the purge start, you know, and then fires right up, you know. Can you show us the compare and contrast the old tank? Go on in. Okay, yeah. There. So, I mean, obviously you can see the factory tank, the factory setup, the, the spouts attached to it. Um, with this kit, it comes with uh, the spout and a grommet to, to set it up. So there'd be your new, your new spout for it and the coupler to hook it up. But as far as like the stamping and all that, it looks very Yeah, yeah, similar. no, they fit. They're, I mean, they're factory fit. I mean, this thing, uh, they also come with new straps, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look them side by side, they pretty much look identical. Um, there are different versions of the tank that you can get. You can get it with the corners knocked off for, you know, if you're running, if you're running big exhaust, you know, two and a half, three inch exhaust, you can get with the corners knocked off for the clearance for the exhaust. But on these cars, um, it, I, it doesn't really matter because they fit. This is the second 69 LS swap that I've done within, I don't know, the last six months. Now this one has more vents on it. Yeah, this here would be set up, it's got uh, like vapor release and all that stuff where this is all self-contained with the return, with the regulator filter setup that, they, that we use on these. So no need for all the extra venting and all that stuff. We have a vent here that is utilized in here that we mount a rollover vent on uh, underneath the car. So, But yeah, they're, they're pretty much identical other than, you know, being able to put the, the pump and sending it in the tank. So, yeah, I mean, technically, if you're doing an LS swap on a budget, you could use this tank. You know, you could, you could use this tank and get you a remote uh, pump set up and everything would work just fine. But with these cars, we like to keep them nice and clean and quiet. So that's the reason why we go with this setup. So, any more questions? Um, how does somebody make the decision? Is it just about budget? Um, yeah, yeah, it really is about budget because, you know, I don't know, it's hard to tell because it, it's all in what you want, you know, it's what you want in your car. Do you want to hear the fuel pump or you don't? Um, it, there is a price difference, you know, in using a, um, a tank sink setup or just using a factory setup. Yeah, so, and that's it. We're going to install it and get all the fuel lines ran for this LS swap here. Pretty much it, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's a fuel tank. We're putting a fuel tank in. Um, you know. Now, is it the same setup for all of the LSs, like LS one through three, or are there separate tanks for each? Uh, no, you can get. Th this will cover any of the LS swaps. You can do any of the LS swaps. Now they do sell different pumps for them. Like you can get the four, the big, the big pump for them. Um, you know, for big horsepower cars and stuff like that. But if you get this is an LS swap. Well, it's an LS1, LS2, LS5, LS11, whatever. You can use <laughs> this car, this tank setup on it. Yep. Very cool. All right, let's get it going. All right, I'll get it on. So we got. Let's see. 